How's the Sully Hole property market, Dom, is a question that I am asked day in, day out, week in, week out. That's why every week in 2023, I'm bringing you this seven day overview of the local property market. I'm going to dive straight into the statistics. These are market wide. They involve every estate agent that operates within the core area that we do. Details of all of that can be found in the description or detail sections below. So firing straight into statistics. New instructions, they are up 9% week on week. Sales agreed are up 42% week on week. Price reductions ever so slightly up at 3%, but do not let that worry you. I, I, I predict that price reductions will continue to be seen throughout the marketplace as this year's market catches up with the back end or tail end of last year. I do also hope and pray agents do put a little bit more effort and do care and attention into taking properties to market at the right price. So, um, how does that compare then to 2022? For the same period, instructions last year at 69, this week at 62. Look, that's 10% down, doesn't cause me any concern. Sales agreed, 67 last year, 61 this week, 9% down, again, of little concern. Price reductions, 26 last year, 41 this year, do not let those alarm bells ring. That's up 57%. However, we all know that we are in a completely different market this year to that of last year. Last year being rampant, early Jan, there was no sign of, well, there were sign of productions, but not to the level that we are seeing today as this market changes or has changed and, uh, and, and, uh, and it all catches up with one another. So what do I make of these statistics as a whole? Look, I find them encouraged and incredibly encouraging. Why? To have sales agreed and new instructions down only 10%. I'm sure if you're reading in the media or listening to the radio and whatnot, um, you know, there is talk of 30 and 40% markets being down, the market's going to crash. We are ever so fortunate to live and operate in the areas that we do. So the Sully whole property market, in my opinion, will not be affected in the same way that perhaps some areas of the country will be. So where are we and what are we seeing here at DM & Co? Um, I am going to start with the ladies in lettings. 43 new tenants this week, looking predominantly for family homes, three, four and five bedroom properties from 1,500 through to 3,000 pounds per calendar month. They do have specific requests from a client that has a budget up to 5,000 pounds within the Solihull area um, for something pretty special. So landlords out there, if you have anything pretty special, that is vacant or home owners, if you're looking to break chain or move out and not so sure what to do with your property, there's the opportunity of a five grand a month tenant here. So please do get in touch. They've chalked up 14 moving so far this month, nearly one a day. Um, feedback's positive. Tenants are far outweighing the number of available properties. So landlords, please get in touch if you need any help. Moving across to DM Co Sales, I break this down into the sales office, the Dorage office, and then the premium team. Also a touch of new homes to drop on at the end. In the sale office, I've had a chat with Anne and Amy there. There's a huge demand for three bed semis from 350 to 450. And then family homes in uh, B91 particularly, four and five bedrooms between six and 800,000 pounds. Hotspots continue to be Monks Path and Hillfield, ever popular together with properties in close proximity to the vast number of parks and green open spaces that we have in the borough. In the Dorage office, I caught up with Matt. Uh, buyers there want four bedroom detached family homes in and around the 700,000 price point. They can be in need of modernization. Importantly, walking distance to Knoll or Dorage and the train station. There is also uh, Matt's sort of second requirement, if you like, in Dorage is for the smaller terrace type properties found on Poplar Road, Dell Farm Close, Winster Avenue, Widney Road, Milton Close and alike. Price points for those between three and four hundred thousand pounds. Within the premium team, it's business as usual, one to one and a half million pounds uh, in central Solihull locations, walking distance to the park, town centre and Solihull School. Um, and then in Dorridge uh, and the Dorridge sort of immediate surrounding areas, including Knoll and pushing out to Lapworth and whatnot, just good quality family homes between one and three million pounds. Um, lots of demand for 
slightly out of town living, countryside, big on everybody's list at the moment are or is the ability to work from home. So home studies becoming ever increasingly popular. Moving on to new homes now. Um, we've seen a spike in activity, having been out to appraise three sites this week. And we end the week on a high, having been instructed on five new builds. Uh, these are going to sit between the 800 and 1.2 million price point. Shout if you'd like to know more about those. With regards to um, the, 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 the questions that have come in over the course of the week, many have been pretty vague. Um, I've been in correspondence with lots of you on those questions. I would really urge you to be specific. And this week, Jack was pretty, well, Jack could have been more specific. However, it was an interesting question because Jack's looking to buy his first home and his parents are suggesting that he waits. Um, he's asked now, should he wait a year or two? Now, this is an incredibly difficult question to answer because everybody's sets of circumstances are different. I don't know, I have tried to get hold of Jack, but I don't know if he's living at home, is he paying any keep, is he not? Is he in rented and therefore paying a rent that actually might not be too more or too less or too much of a difference between his rental payment and his prospective mortgage payment? Yes, rates have gone up. However, rates have now continued to come down. Um, so to dig into the detail of that type of question or generic question, you really, really have to know more about the people involved, which is why taking advice off your mum and dad isn't always the best thing to do in this instance. Um, but if there is anybody out there that feels like they're in a very similar position to Jack, um, and Jack if you do or would like to come in as I've, uh, as I've messaged and, uh, and offered you the, um, the opportunity to come in and meet the team, come in and meet Paul in our, uh, in our financial services team. Um, and we can really have an open chat about how we deal with or how we would advise you to deal with your situation. Um, and that's it really. So I hope um, whilst that wasn't, um, that was perhaps evidence of not being too specific. Um, if people can be specific with their questions, I'll do my very best to answer those next week and encourage you to do so. Um, please do not forget that all of the information where I pull this data from is collected and, uh, and documented in the detail section below. It's a transparent overview of the local solid property market utilising real statistics from Rightmove. Please don't forget to follow, like and share. Stay up to date with the local property market and tune in for sneak peeks on Monday. Thanks ever so much.